Okay, um, I wanted to show you on footings before I went on and put the rest of the walls in, but you'll be able to do that with the rest of the walls in. Uh, some will be pretty easy to do in 3D. Some we're going to have to work off of our, our uh, basement footing plan. Um, but you you go to structure, wall, and you're going to create a new, <clears throat> a new uh, bearing footing. And you just duplicate the 36 by 12. And it'd be 20 inches by 8 inches. Okay. Uh, and we'll set it initially eccentricity at zero. Okay. And then you just click on all of these walls out here in the front, all of the poured foundation walls. Okay. Those are, those are pretty easy. Now, once we come back into these, now we've got to set some eccentricity because uh, we've got these two inches of insulation in the front but the footing needs to be centered under the concrete. So it makes it a little more difficult. So I've, I'm gonna work on my top of basement plan and I've set my, um, my view range. I've set the cut plane at one inch and that gets me into just um, concrete walls. Okay, and on this one, you can see it's got the insulation there. So that causes a little problem. We'll overcome that with eccentricity. So we'll go to that, and I'm going to come, come on, set my eccentricity at one inch, and then, whoop, wrong footing, I didn't change my footing size, duh, come on, all right. And you can well, that didn't work out quite the way I thought it was going to with that section. Oh, because that one doesn't need eccentricity. It's just these here. Okay. So uh, you can go around and, and do all of your walls around. I'm going to stop right there. Okay, this one, I can change that back to zero. Okay, now let's look at this one in section view. The reason I needed that eccentricity is because I want six inches on either side of the wall, not including this insulation on the inside. Now then, when we get to the corners, um, it, it doesn't match the corners up right. So what we'll do with that is this one will drag it on up to there and then grab this one and drag it out to the outside corner. And that will fix my corners, as you can see there, okay? This one, I'm gonna have to go back and look at that in section view. Let's pull. Yeah, that's just gonna, that's just is what it is gonna be. Nothing that we're gonna do about that. It's, I'm just going from the plans in the book, okay? Don't shoot me. All right, so you go ahead and do all those the rest of the way around and fix these corners. Uh, there might be a little issue with that one. I don't know. Let's see. Okay, so doo -doo -doo, let's go to the top of garage footing because out here we've got a a little uh, ta -ta -ta, mm -mm -mm, a little concrete column. Okay, and so let's go here. Um, column and we'll have to load a family concrete uh, concrete square column okay and it is a 24 by 24 Moves. We're not. It, there are grids, but we're not working off of grids. Okay, and it's not room bounding. Okay, so all of that looks good. I'm thinking. All right, and so I'm gonna I'm gonna pop it right there to start with. 
okay and it's telling me yeah so let's go back to 3d and look see what we've got to do with it okay and uh Okay, so let's see what the wall is here. Uh, unconnected two foot six top garage fitting. Okay. So let's change that to doesn't give me a choice, huh? Okay, so we'll go with that for right now. What was that? Top of garage fitting zero. Okay. And let me let me look at my elevation drawing and see what that shows. Where are you at? Elevation sheet. Okay, so it needs to stop at the top of foundation wall level then. back to here and now let's do some alignment for it and then we're going to go center of that to center of that and lock that in place okay that looks good now we need a footing under it and it's going to be an isolated footing we're going to load one Foundations, rectangular, and I'll have to edit it. And we will assume six inches to either side. Why not? So that would make it, we'll stick with eight inches thick since we don't know any better right now I don't think looks about right um, and we'll make it three feet by three feet how's that sound okay oh where did it go all right. Oh, I didn't. I just started messing. By 36 inch by 8 inch. There we go. I should have known better. 36 by 36 by 36. Okay. And we'll pop it there. Where did I put it at? What level? Top of basement footing. Okay, so it's got the level right on it. Okay. Align it in 3D. Let's see. Maybe we can. We'll try anyway. Huh? Align. Uh. I will at least drag it over here a little closer, huh? Okay, so I'm going to have to come to here and change my view range so I can work with it. 